Hi, in this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be sharing with us on the reason why God doesn't do so much with some people. This message will be an high opener to many listeners, so stay connected to this video, let your heart be opened to receive, and be prepared to be blessed. God bless you. There are many ways God tells us to behold. He will start showing you a certain dream within a certain season. It is him saying, behold, let me have your attention. You've been too distracted. But right now there is something that your ministry needs to do. There is something, there is a formula coming from heaven that spells your dominion for the next 10 years. Behold. Kali Parakosia. Behold. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. The word behold is a very powerful word. Behold means see with the eyes of your spirit. Behold means conceive as a reality what I want to tell you. Behold means let me have your rapt attention. Now that you have been distracted away from the mundanity of yesterday, behold, let me have your attention. You want to understand what behold means? You have to read the book of Acts that Peter and John were on their way to get beautiful at the hour of prayer. The Bible says they saw a man who, had, who was seated there for a long time, lame. And the man was begging for arms. Let me show you what behold means. And Peter said, look on us. Let me have your attention. And the Bible says, Peter fastening his eyes on him said, look on us. Verse 5, now, and he gave heed, that's what it means to behold, he gave heed to them expecting to receive. He gave heed to them expecting to receive, to receive an instruction, to receive a blueprint, to receive a pathway. When he says behold, it means I need your attention, spirit, soul, and body. I'm about to deliver something to you that your destiny depends on. Behold. This is a prophetic word. There are many ways God tells us to behold. He will start showing you a certain dream within a certain season. It is him saying, behold, let me have your attention. You've been too distracted. But right now there is something that your ministry needs to do. There is something, there is a formula coming from heaven that spells your dominion for the next 10 years. Behold. Kali Parakosia. Behold, God is speaking to someone. Behold, the next 10 years will not be like the last 10 years. Behold, have you received the prophetic blueprint for business? Have you received the prophetic blueprint for ministry? Have you received the prophetic blueprint for politics? Have you received the prophetic blueprint for that which God is doing in your family? Behold. Behold means let me have your attention. For some of you, it's taken you two years to behold because one moment you want to focus and then you remember. Do you know that you can behold for a short time? He looked at Peter and Peter fastened his eyes on Jesus and he said, if it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. While he was focused, he kept walking. But the Bible says the waves, you would think because you are beholding, the waves should stop. They will still be there. But your ability to look away from them and unto Jesus. The waves and the vicissitudes of life have distracted people such that they stop beholding. The reason why he brought that dream last year was because he was trying to get your attention. Do you not know you are a great prophet? Do you not know you are a great apostle? Do you not know you are a great intercessor? Do you not know there is a kingdom financier within you? Do you not know that is a portion of God's program that has been committed to you? But God is calling you to behold. Do not play with this word. It takes a long time for God to get men's attention. Go and read your Bible. There are few men who God got their attention in a moment. For instance, you know how long it took God to negotiate with Abraham until he believed God finally? God had to invent a strategy to get Abraham to believe that he would become the father of nations. You would think just because he was Abraham, he believed. No, study and read your Bible. One night God had to call him and said, Abraham, count the stars. 
he tried counting and he lost count try again he tried counting and he lost count he said the same way you have lost count that is how your seed will be and the bible says finally abraham believed god and it was credited unto him for righteousness you know how long it takes for god to get the attention of men there are people who it will take decades for God to finally call them and say, do you know from age five, the dream you started having was me calling you and you are finally saying yes to me at 55. 50 years to behold. So don't you play with this word. When he says behold, he's not just saying use your optical eyes. It takes a level of focus that only God can give to look away from situations and circumstances. And to behold but there is a miracle in beholding one of the miracles is that as we behold him we are changed hmm. as we behold him we are changed please listen listen let your heart be open to understand what I'm teaching you tonight the challenge with many people and the reason why it looks like God is not doing so much with you is because you have not mastered the art of beholding beholding can take a long time Beholding can take a long time. Do you realize, ladies and gentlemen, that all that happened to the disciples for three and a half years was their ministry of beholding. They were beholding as they were being changed. Lecture after lecture. Beholding does not just mean see. Sometimes beholding can mean stop what you are doing now for the next five years. That is the price of beholding. Sometimes beholding can mean relocate to another city and remain there until I come to you. Beholding has a serious implication. It can mean suspend what you are doing for now, no matter how productive it is. There are few people who can behold. Is someone learning? Behold can, means, can mean that God can give you a, an instruction and say instead of giving 10% or 20% of all your earnings for the next one year for you it is 80% every there is something I want to teach you that will evolve you into the financial apostle that I'm programming you to become beholding is not just your ears beholding is not just your eyes beholding is your heart and your life and because the spirit of God does not struggle with man indefinitely you have a choice to be so distracted that you distract his presence away from your life. He will respect you. He will honor you. But the danger is that you will be losing relevance through a season that is coming. Hallelujah. There are many sermons that have come out from beholding more than studying there are many songs that have come from beholding more than studying there are many mantles that have rested upon people what was the price to carry elijah's mantle if you can see me not if you can talk you become a talkative while i'm rising you will remain there and the prophets the sons of the prophets were talkatives but they did not know how to behold here was a man who said i need something a double portion he said ah my dear son you have asked a hard thing but if you can see me was he not looking at him and the bible says suddenly he saw a chariot of fire that came to carry him and he, he stood there focused while he was standing there the sons of the prophet were shouting distracting doing all kinds of things he he remained focused and that mantle fell upon him he said my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof and that mantle fell upon him he carried it and went to the jordan and he said where is the lord god of elijah and he he, he struck the the mantle and the jordan parted hither and thither proximity does not necessarily mean you are beholding how many of you know that there are people who can be so worried their position is to look at you someone can literally be looking at you like this and that is a sign that he has left you because he's so distracted he's just thinking this fuel now this issue now and yet the person is looking at you and you will think that the person is looking at you it means that he's giving you the attention and the person is thinking of something far away from church behold ah, very powerful word 
So remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Next instruction, behold. Behold. See. Dedicate your life and your destiny. Be prepared to receive. Be prepared to understand. Be prepared to be engaged prophetically. And then the next instruction is I do a new thing. This is very, very powerful. I do a new thing. I do a new thing. He never said, I will say a new thing. He says, I will do a new thing. But let me tell you something about the way God operates. You know by now that God never does what you want or what you pray for. No, he does what you pray for that is consistent with what he has said. The only thing that moves the hand of God are his words. Genesis 21, 1. Do not forget this scripture for as long as you live. Let's read it together. Genesis 21, 1. One to read. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. One more time. And the Lord visited Sarah. Not just as she wanted. He visits as he has said. He does as he has spoken. He visits as he has said. He does as he has spoken. So if your desire is not captured within his speaking. There is no performance. The performance of God in the life of a man is only possible when your desire is consistent with something he has said. The assignment of the power of God is to make his speakings manifest in the life of the believer. To make his speakings manifest in the life of the believer. To make his speakings manifest in the life of the believer. So when God says his power moves to honor what he has said so that there will be a performance, there will be a manifestation of those things that he has said. Are we together now? This is why the word of God is your basis for receiving anything in the kingdom. If you cannot find what God has said, there is no basis for God's commitment towards you. Because he has submitted his reputation below. He has exalted his word, the Bible says, even above his office, above his name. You have to learn this. So when he says, I will do a new thing. Another expression for it is that find out the things I have said I will do because it is what I have said that I will do. I refer you to my teaching, Exceeding Great and Precious Promises. There we considered how the, the rich deposit all of the systems of advantage that have been provided for the believer in Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says God had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. But you must know them whereby are given to us these great and exceeding precious promises that by them we might be partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. If you are together, shout a loud amen. amen. Behold, I do a new thing, a performance but you see, another word I want us to consider in that sentence is the word new. Everybody here, I presume, understands English. The word new means sometimes an unfamiliar path. Are we together now? New may not necessarily mean a repetition of something that has happened. New always suggests a virgin dimension. Something that you have never, is not captured in your memory of yesterday. That means there is a technique and a technology for approaching new things. Hallelujah. Behold, I do a new thing. The new, I wrote here, prophetic season before us demands three major things. If we want to see the new manifested in our lives, there is a prophetic season. An old season is wrapping up in our lives across the body of Christ and a new season is opening right before us but a new season requires three things number one discernment and flexibility to experience the new the first thing you need is discernment and flexibility please write it down 
discernment and flexibility your spirit and your mind that floodity of mind and thoughts is very important if you are to experience the new hallelujah in mark chapter 2 mark chapter 2 give us 11 and 12 mark chapter 2 please now this was the man who was lame jesus looks at him and says i say unto thee arise and take up thy bed and go thy way into your house verse 12 the bible says and immediately he arose he took up the bed and went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed and they glorified god saying we never saw it in this fashion this is what it means to be new it comes in a fashion that you are not used to you will need discernment so that you don't call evil good just because god is not moving in a way he moved before does not mean he's not the one moving you see getting used to how god moved sometimes can limit you from discerning how he is moving now if you were there in my example again that i gave earlier on if you were there when the Red Sea parted, every time you see a sea, you start smiling, especially if you have a rod in your hand. Except that the strategy for your victory at that point will not be the parting of the Red Sea. How many people have remained before Jordan for a long time? Look at the man in John chapter 5. I always make reference to this man. The Bible says he was lying down there for 38 years. There was no man to help him sadly but jesus came to introduce to him that the way to be healed by the stirring of the water is only one there are many other strategies another strategy is when jesus comes to you your season has happened you don't have to wait for one year in his absence you can make do with whatever formula that is there but jesus is able to step in in one moment this is very powerful the principles of business diligently followed can prosper you with time it is true that that is a very a biblically recommended pathway but i submit to you by the authority of scripture that is not the only way when jesus comes he can change the dynamics of certain realities for instance by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow is not an economic principle but it is a principle that has has validity from scripture hmm. who am i speaking to ah yeah behold i do a new thing that means your life will be a wonder people will say this is the only way to make children great this is the only way to get land and build a house this is the only way to do ministry and yet god will be redirecting you through virgin paths that don't make sense except that the result will be exceptional you it will be in a way that people say we have never seen it in this manner you have to be flexible listen you see this is the reason why in followership there are two dimensions number one follow them who have who through faith and patience have obtained the promise why do we follow them because of the advantage of experience there is a cyclical movement to life this is where age eldership and experience plays are we together even if you are Samuel who will be a great prophet, you will need Eli to help you interpret the voice of God because he has heard it before. And God will usually speak to you using the voice of Eli. However, there are certain virgin moves of God that only happens when you look unto Jesus. That is another way to follow. There is follow them, but there is looking unto Jesus. Because there are times that he moves, both the old and the young stand at a loss because it is a path that has never been followed. Listen, if you are a prophetic person, discern what I am telling you. There are many, many people who respectfully speaking, loyalty to how God moved yesterday is stopping them from aligning with how he is moving now. Hallelujah. Yes. It is true that he once spat on the ground and made spittle out of it but that is not the only way no many miracles did jesus in the presence of his disciples which were not recorded here yours is for your heart to be open that's why i love the the the, the, the rendition here their songs of worship they said i will follow the lamb but they also said i will follow the lion 
do you know it's the same person so why are you mentioning two dimensions to the same person because the way the lion leads you is not the way the lamb will lead you although it is still the same person you don't have to stretch your ears to hear the lion the roar is loud enough but you will need dedication and concentration to hear the lamb speak i am meek and i am lowly there was a wind and the voice was not in the wind there was an earthquake and the voice was not in the earthquake and then after all of that there was a still small voice elijah what are you doing here but when fire was coming from heaven it was not silent it came in such a mighty way that it came and consumed everything ladies and gentlemen please hear me we need a generation of men and women who understand how to discern to discern to discern the bankruptcy of discernment has gotten many to a point where they are not flexible and they do not understand what god is doing it is true that you have never seen a child prophesy but one day your child of four years old can look at you and say daddy don't do business with that man go and pray for two hours and it does not make sense his age you are used to matured elderly people with ministerial pedigree speaking to you but god decides to use an earthen vessel that does not make sense and yet the most powerful prophetic instruction in your life may come from that child if you are a king and you are looking for a prophet and you ignore the slave girl you may never find the prophet you must know how to hear the king the prophet but you must also know how to hear the slave girl because sometimes it's the advice from the slave girl that connects you to elijah are we together now say discernment one more time say discernment we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.